Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of American Husky. This is Cash, and today we're going to bring you the five things you may need when running your Siberian Husky. Alright guys, so here you have it, the five things you may need if your Husky has the runs. Wait, what? Wrong video. Oh, not again. Oh gosh. Alright guys, so number one is actually going to be water. Now what I like to do for emergency purposes is actually grab the big canister like this one here and just put ice and water in there. I also have a collapsible bowl. As you can see, this is a pretty big bowl and with one little push, very little effort, you actually get a plate sized bowl. Now this is easy for traveling and for Amazon you can get it for like five bucks. Definitely recommend that, grab that, go snatch one up. But what I like to do with cash when I run them, because it is pretty hot, is actually find a body of water. And a body of water could be a river or creek or even a lake. Now why I like to do that is actually because when we're running, we get so hot and cash likes to jump in take a swim, drink some water, and it actually gives me a break. Don't tell him I said that, but yeah. But yeah, so. So number two is actually something that you should just never do. It's not some tangible thing I can put in front of you, but it's just as important, so I wanted to include it. Now what it is, is that you should never feed your Husky before a run. Now imagine you eating three Big Macs before you go for a run. I'm not a math magician, but if I was, I would say that's the exact scientific mathematical comparison to eating a normal amount for a Husky. Yeah, I'm not good at math. But regardless, don't feed your Husky before a run. And if you do, wait around 30 to 45 minutes and you should be good. But yeah. A proper harness slash leash. All right, start with the harness. So I've been through around 20 harnesses. I've been through thick ones, expensive ones, light ones, crappy ones, I've seen it all. And in my experience, as far as running goes, I mean, a step-in harness such as this one is my favorite so far. And it looks like it's nothing. It looks kind of like like garbage. <laughs> but it really, it works super well. I'm not sure why or the mechanics, but just the way his feet fit in there and how it hooks, it puts very little pressure on him itself. It doesn't cause any rashes. It gives him mobility and freedom. It allows him to move left, right, no problems. He can pull me it's it's awesome I've actually used this leash now for probably around three months and it's held out for the material I actually really like it but yeah all right so that's that's the harness now I didn't even mention a collar in the description but I threw this in here just because I thought it was important but yeah so here we go this is just a normal collar nothing fancy but it lights up this was like 10 bucks I mean it's worth it just to throw it on your dog if you're running at night and if he ever gets off leash or just kind of sees a squirrel, yeah, squirrels. Either way, yeah, so if he sees a squirrel, squirrels and he runs off, uh, you can always just kind of see him. I mean, I think I can see him up to like 100 yards away with this thing. It's actually really nice. It was 10 bucks. Do yourself a favor, get one. All right, so the last thing here, this is what they call a hands-free leash. Now, I thought this was strictly for old people, but I... After I bought one and used it, I was sold. It's actually fantastic. I don't know how I did it without it. It's amazing. I would never go, I will never go back probably, and I think you should get one as well. Um, it gives you an extra layer of security. It acts as a fanny pack if you want to get one like this and you can put things in there. I really like that. Um, it kind of just lets you do other things. You have a sandwich in your left hand and your phone in the other hand and a husk on the leash, you're good. It's really helpful. I really, really, really like it. And I think it's important enough to make the list. All right. It seems odd because plans slash goals isn't like detrimental to one's health 
or the health of a husky, but I think it's important. When it, I think it's important for running because running is always a natural progression in oneself and a husky too. You know, a lot of people think that huskies can just like wake up one morning at birth and they can just run 120 miles. And that's just really not true. They have to actually grow just like you. You know, they don't want to wake up in the morning and not stretch and not eat. They want to do other things too. So you can learn to run with your husky. So I think it's important in the sense of learning to look back and be able to see what you ran and how you ran it and if you can do it better in the future. And knowing that this distance was a good distance and you can actually log this in here. Now, as far as how you do that, it, there's a lot of different options and apps and technology is crazy these days, I know. But um, what I like to use personally is Fitbit. Fitbit's, you know, it's a watch. It has a lot of different functions. It does a lot of things. But here in the app, you can see I ran five miles, pretty good. An hour and 20 minutes isn't so good. But Cash has to pee and he has to do it often. So it is what it is. But yeah, so I mean, you can see the distance I ran, all the details here, the heart rate, my calories burnt. You think I look a little better. But yeah, so I mean, the steps, look at that. I mean, it's really, it's a really good thing to have. And I think it's really important for you and your Husky. Cash, we did it. Five miles, we ran five miles, 85 degrees. We did it. Good job, buddy, good job. Such a good boy. Number five already? Number five? Yeah, number five? Crazy, we're already here. All right, patience and understanding. So what do I mean by that? Okay, so your Husky's not Balto. He's not gonna be able to run 120 miles right out the gate. He uh, He's gonna be able to run a mile or two. Uh, I mean, he could run 20 miles if he's chasing a squirrel. Squirrels. Anyway, yeah, so uh, be slow. Yeah, should they go slow at first? Yeah, slow. And just be patient and understand that these dogs, they're made for running, but they need time and effort and energy to kind of get there, just like humans. I mean, we can't run a marathon right out the gate, so don't expect them to. All right, well, uh, we're now gonna cue the little montage of him peeing on trees, enjoy. And what are you doing? Oh, it's time to pee, huh? Perfect timing. Okay. Oh, gosh. Nope. There it goes again. He's a machine, I tell you. A ping machine. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It'd be very helpful. All right, we'll see you in the next one. We did it, bud. We did it. We did it. Can I handshake? Oh, good boy. Oh, my gosh. You're so smart. Oh, my gosh.